Hey everyone, this is Ash from fetchproperties.com. Today I wanted to show you how to use AdRoll with WordPress. AdRoll is a popular tool to help you set up, launch and manage retargeting campaigns across the web. Now the idea of retargeting is to drive specific campaigns to exactly those people who visited your website and left and did not do anything on your website that would have mattered to you. Now the trick is to build an audience on AdRoll whether or not you choose to launch retargeting campaigns right away. Because when you actually choose to launch campaigns, whenever that's going to be, your audience is ready for you. This helps you in two ways. One, when you do want to launch a campaign, your audience is ready and waiting. This saves you from the trouble of having to start from scratch. Number two, it's your audience. You worked hard to get these visitors to your website. You probably spent money too. Audience building on AdRoll is the least you could do to keep track of those visitors. Ideally, you should have started building your audiences the day you launch your website or when you actually launch your landing pages for any sort of a digital marketing campaign. Having said that, to set up and activate your AdRoll account, create an account on AdRoll if you haven't and log into AdRoll. Give your account an easy name to remember. Typically, this would be your brand name or your website name. When you do that, this is where you would find which profile you're working with. The reason I say that is because AdRoll actually allows you to add more profiles than one. If you click on the little gear icon on the top right corner, you would be able to see what is called the advertiser's profile. If you click on that, you will be able to add multiple websites to your account. So you would log in once, but you'd be able to manage multiple accounts. Now to actually set up AdRoll and activate it, get back to your login screen and you will be able to see this prompt here which says account inactive and you would need to add what is called as an ad roll pixel to your landing pages or your websites or both. To add that pixel, click on that particular link and copy your pixel. Now head over to your WordPress website. I've already logged in to save on time. Copy the pixel. Now head over to your WordPress website, log in, look for appearances. That's right here look for editor click on that and then look for the header file of whatever wordpress theme you might be using for my particular theme the theme header is right here now inside the template header file go to this section of the code where you see head right there under the head but always before the body tag copy and paste that pixel and copy it here. By doing this, you're essentially tracking every page on your WordPress website because the header is the common template area that shows up on every page load. If you're not using WordPress and if you're using say a Wix, Weebly or any other platform, the process is somewhat similar except that you might have to copy and paste the pixel multiple times on each page. This is especially true for, for HTML websites. Now the ad roll pixel would take about 24 hours to detect that the pixel is working. Once you know it's working, it's time for your lovely audience to build up. When you're ready, you can launch your retargeting campaigns to specific audiences that, that you would have created. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel and let us know how your retargeting campaigns are working for you. Stay profitable. Go make some money.